Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we have the Gen Mitsu kiosk laser engraving machine. You can take this to like fairs, craft shows, all sorts of different events, just friends' house, and then um, I believe this can also be controlled by an app on your phone. So that's gonna be really super portable and super cool little machine here. As you can see, it's a real tiny box here. This is the 10 watt model, and we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, and then we're gonna show you all of the ins and outs of this machine, what you can expect for it. And this is a very, an affordable machine. I'll go ahead and put the price that this one costs right here. And um, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down in the description below down here. And if you have any questions at the end of the video, let me know in the comments below as well. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and let's get started. All right, guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and saved us both some time. I just removed the entire packaging contents of the box, exactly how it looks here. And you have a nice pamphlet. It's really thick on top here, so I'm gonna have to read all these instructions, figure this out and show you guys how to do it. Um, and then it just has one styrofoam lid on the top here. Well, we'll get that out of the way. You have your saran wrap or your plastic around the machine. The machine does come fully assembled. As you can see, it is fully assembled here. There is two uh, sheets of wood in here for practice, and that is it for the styrofoam. So let's go ahead and get rid of the styrofoam there. We'll pull this plastic off really quick. And as you can see, we got the plastic off now. We'll go ahead and put that away as well. And we have the internal lid here. So I assume this is gonna be where all of the actual components are for this, like the cable and all of that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and lift this lid up. It looks like it swings out words here. And then you have all this styrofoam. It's gonna pull straight out here. It looks like it is very well packed in there. Let me go ahead and get this towards me so I can lift this out. There we go. So as you can see right here is the styrofoam. It is very well packed in there. You got to pull a little bit hard there to get it out. But if you flip it over right here, it looks like we have the laser head itself. And then we also have the uh, safety glasses and the tool accessory kit here. Uh, we'll pull those out and show you that as well here. Let me go ahead and get that pulled out as well. All right, now that we got those two out, we'll get to that here in just a second. There is one other box inside here that I noticed. And I believe this is gonna be, yeah, the power supply with the, the power cables here. So let's get all this out of the way and I'll show you what's inside those boxes as well. All right, you guys, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this power supply unit, see what that looks like so you can see all the details. Um, it is just a standard uh, power cable that gets plugged into the back similar to like what the F1 machine from x looks like. We also have this uh, safety glasses here. Um, it's gonna probably be your standard safety glasses. Yeah, it looks like your standard green safety glasses for a blue diode laser. And then we have the tool accessory kit here. We're gonna see what's involved with this and what is all included here. As you can see, this is the USB connection cable that you can connect your, your uh, computer with. And then it looks like there is um, small brushes in here. I'll need to figure out what that's for. It looks like there's paper and possibly a spacer in here as well for the focusing height here. I'll need to figure out what that's for after I read the instructions. We're gonna get, it, get into all the details here next. And then we're gonna start engraving towards the end of the video here. But overall, those are all the accessories and the unboxing of the unit. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into all the details of this unit next. All right, you guys, so really quick, here is a screenshot of all of the specifications of this machine so you know what you're getting into when you get this machine. Uh, just to point out a few real important ones, the engraving accuracy is 0 0.01 millimeters. The max speed is 12,000 millimeters per minute when you're doing a bitmap. Um, you also have the max working of area just shy of four by four inches. As you can see, all of the engraving materials that you can do is paper, wood, bamboo, cloth, acrylic, plastic, leather, bread, fruit, glass, ceramic, uh, rock, coated metal, and so on. Um, the uh, cu cutting materials is going to vary too based on what model you have. Like I said, I've got the 10 watt model here. So that's something to keep in mind. The software works with 
um, Windows, Mac, Android, or iOS, depending on if you're getting the mobile version or the other version. Those are the main things that I wanted to highlight there. You can read over all of these. I just wanted to save you some time. We're gonna be referencing the owner's manual that I showed you earlier with some cool images of different features here so you can see all of the different features as well. First up, here is a quick look at the back of the unit, all of the different ports that are included. Um, and as you can see, there is a smoke purifier inlet here. Now I did not get the smoke purifier and there is not a plastic unit that you can just attach your own easily. So you may have to 3D print one or find a way to get your um, exhaust out the window if you're gonna be doing that. So that's something that I think is gonna be a required accessory, in my opinion, if you're gonna be doing this, or if you can get a 3D printed part and then um, use your own hose for that. On the front of the unit, as you can see, here's the power switch. You have an offline engraving option that'll show you like previews, almost like a framing option here and then you have a light status on the front as well. And then as you can see here, the bottom panel actually comes out. So you can actually engrave on the, the top side of like, like a desk or those kinds of things. Uh, so that's a super cool little touch and feature as well. And then one really cool feature that uh, wasn't really mentioned before was the ability to raise the height of your um, laser here. So on the back of the laser, you can actually unscrew these screws here on the back and you can actually uh, lift the laser higher. And this is where those safety glasses will come into play that we showed you earlier because the lid won't be able to go down that far. But you're gonna be able to engrave really, really thick items. Like you can see this cube here, that is an extremely thick item. You just have to re-raise your laser's focus height to the top of that engraving and you can engrave on top of those blocks. So that's a really cool feature that was kind of unexpected from this machine, um, especially with it being a kiosk machine that you can kind of take anywhere. Next up, there is a safety feature for an anti-tilt measure as well. So if this tilts more than 12 degrees, uh, it will shut off the unit here. So that's an extra safety feature, especially if you're gonna have this at like fairs where somebody could bump it or something. It's always great to have safety features built in. Next up, we're gonna talk about the software. There's actually three different softwares that I believe is compatible with this. The two for sure is their own software called Cut Lab X. You can download it for mobile or the computer if you want to. There's also a capability of using Lightburn with this, as well as a free open source pro program called Laser Gerbil, uh, G-R-B-L. So you can use any of those three softwares there for this unit. Now we're gonna talk about the optional accessories. As you can see here, there is an optional camera accessory, like a camera module that you can install in this unit. And it does work with light burn, but you will need to use light burn to use this accessory for the camera module unit. Another optional accessory is the rotary engraving tool. You can go ahead and get the rotary engraving tool for this and engrave cups. Um, I do not have either of these accessories, um, so I won't be able to test that out. And if you wanna go into more detail with that, we'll have to do that in the future if I can get my hands on that. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the optional accessories here. The last optional accessory you have is the smoke purifier system that I was talking about earlier for the back of the unit that will connect. I really think this is gonna be a pretty much a mandatory thing that way you're not blowing smoke or um, toxic fumes into the air. Uh, you want to have at least a plastic clip that you can hook up your own hose and send out the window here. So that's one thing that I would improve about this machine here. And lastly, it looks like they have a cutting board module. So if you wanna do a high powered cutting, um, you can go ahead and get an additional accessory for a cutting board module here. It looks like the unit without this is gonna be engraved only. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can get like, it looks like a honeycomb tray from this image here. So you will have to get that as an additional accessory as well. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we got the laser unit all set up, ready to go. Um, we're gonna get to the engravings here right at the end, but I did wanna show you guys an overview instead of just those photos that I showed you from the pamphlet here 
of all the different features. So in the front, we have the power button. We have the a little offline button that'll frame and start your engravings offline. You also have the indicator light here, which when it's closed is a solid blue. It's ready to engrave. When you open the lid, as you can see, it's flashing blue. That means it's not ready to engrave. It will not engrave. You can then take your, your objects like this here, the little oxidized and then the metal business cards. You can stick it in there. I had my last engraving right about here. Um, I did tape it down because this fan has got a little bit of power to it and kind of blows that real light card around. So I do got a piece of tape in there and then you can just tape it down like that. Um, there is a framing feature in this. I'll go ahead and throw up a video clip of that framing feature. So that's a great benefit for this low end cost of a laser here. Um, there is also four screws on the back as mentioned and these side panels will go all the way up to here and then you can engrave thicker items. I'm not gonna do that just because you've seen that little photo earlier of that and I don't have an item real thick that I wanna engrave on right now. With that said, um, I did engrave one of these little oxidized aluminum metal business cards already. I'll go ahead and throw up an image of what the end result looked like here now. And then we're gonna do a, a live engraving of that business card that I recorded for you guys. It's hard to get an image through this um, orange plexiglass, what it looks like during the engraving. Once the engraving is done, there is some laser dust on this you, you have to wipe off with an actual paper towel, but that's not really a big deal. You just wipe it off, clean it off, or use a magic eraser and it looks real nice and shiny and silver, just like this. Um, I did all of this from the mobile application today instead of the typical computer because this is a mobile kiosk and I wanted this to be as portable as possible and test that out. It's a little hard to use the mobile app, but it's not really that hard if you're doing images. So all this was was a PNG image. I clicked upload the image. It would let me shrink it by pinching the um, software bigger or smaller. Um, they also include like free keychain options in their software as well on their mobile app. So that's super cool. Um, but overall, this is a cool little unit at a very affordable cost here. Um, like I said, the accessory that I think you're going to need for sure is the air purifier. Um, so get the air purifier if you're going to be taking this um, and doing any kind of wood or acrylic because you don't want toxic fumes to go out in the world. Um, and potentially harm you or others around you. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the live engraving of this and show you what it's capable of doing. And at the very end, instead of showing you that hard to capture image, I'm gonna just show you some other things that you can make with this as well, and as, such as uh, slate coasters or leather patches. Um, with all that said, if you guys have any other questions after the engravings and watching the rest of the video, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. All right, you guys, so really quick before we get to engraving, I wanna show you guys how to focus the laser height here to your material so you're in focus. You'll actually unscrew this screw right here, which will allow your laser to be loose and this whole laser module will move up and down. You'll then flip this down and then place it on top of your material to the exact height that it touches at the very end. That will then put your laser from here to here is in focus and ready to engrave. You'll then flip this back up and you are now ready to engrave. So I'm gonna show you guys some engravings now of this in action and then what I made with this at the very end here. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't Track of them all, from people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything 